baseline where every tree density has had infiltration measured and then we'll be able to start to see what happens and how we start to improve it or otherwise and what density is best. The other thing just to start off with while we're here is to have a very very quick look at our soil. If Phil was here, our farm manager, he'd tell you he's got the horriblest, nastiest, worst soil in the whole of Leicestershire. But when you look at it under permanent grass, it looks quite nice. It's nice and friable, it works, there's no real compaction, it splits vertically, it crumbles. But that is genuinely horrible, nasty, Handsworth and Dentra series clay. And it's not very easy to grow stuff on. In the next couple of stops, we'll show you what that looks like under cultivation. And as a mining engineer teaching about soil, I'm, I'm a generalist, not an expert. It's always a good thing to take a farmer back to a permanent grass field or a really good grass margin and say, what does this soil, what did this soil used to look like? What could you aim to get it back to? And that's part of all the work we're doing here. We'll never get arable cultivated fields to look like this all of the time. But part of the work we should be doing is trying to get it as close to this as we possibly can. Then you get the infiltration, then you get the earthworms, then you get the soil biology and you get all the benefits for it. So just remember that's what it looks like and we'll have a look and see what Phil's done to it when we go and have a look at some of the cultivated fields. Anyone got any, any other questions about the agroforestry and how we work and what we're up to in here? I'll just say Jim, obviously as the research continues we will jointly publish some of the findings but because it's still in its early days, you know, that's what we will aim to do so that we can disseminate the findings. So as, as well as the tree growth and all the stuff we've spoken about, we're also, uh, our farmland ecologist is monitoring bird nesting across here with regular transects, we're monitoring invertebrate use, so we're trying to really get under the skin about what this actually delivers on a, on a sort of a landscape scale. Okay, right, 